I'm back. So I wanted to thank all of you guys who's been with me since I've gotten the phone and been kind of going through, you know, my walkthroughs and everything like that with the phone, my unboxing, my thoughts on it. Uh, of course, you know, this is the device here. My custom one's on the way. Hopefully it'll be here Monday and I can unbox that. But uh, I've been so far impressed with this. Like I said, my only downside so far is that it's 16 gigabytes of memory. So now I want to go over through over what... Um, you know, Motorola, they keep their thing stock Android, and that's awesome. I just did a speed dust against the Galaxy S6, and it won. The reason why it won is because it's very close to stock Android. It's um, very optimized. You know, this is Motorola, ever since the first generation of Moto X, it came out with a dual-core processor, 720p display. You know, it came out with old, old hardware. At a time where quad-core processors were popular, and it was all about the 1080p displays. They came out with a small little phone that fit in the hand and everything, and it worked. It worked just as good, if not better, than the other phones. So they kind of started the battle on the Android side. That's not all about the specs. It's still not about the specs, but this is a heavy spec beast. But, you know, the Verge, of course, they called it a mid-range device. So I had to put it up against the Galaxy X6. And if you haven't seen that speed test already, it's on my channel, go check it out. And the Motorola, well, just watch it. But spoiler alert, it did win. So you can go watch and exactly how it won. Um, and someone mentioned that the S6 had an update. So I updated it and it actually did even worse. So I knew for a fact that the update wasn't going to work since the Note 5 had the same issue. But today, the main story here, we're going to be talking about Moto, the Moto app. So we have Moto Actions and everything. So we're going to go through that and I'll show you what you can do with this baby. Actually, while I'm still up here, I'm going to show you real quick is the... One thing that they added that, because they didn't really add much this year, they kind of just tweaked everything a little bit. So if you take the phone out of your pocket and bring it up to your ear, you wait for a beep and you can actually give it a command. I'm going to do it again because I was just saying nonsense, but you heard that it was up. So leave the phone in your pocket, pick it up, go to your ear. How far is Mars? Looks like you have to keep it to your ear for it to actually work. All right, that's good. Good thing I tested that. Let's do it again, but this time I'll keep it to my ear. How far is Mars? And there you go. So this whole the whole point of this thing is supposed to be discreet, and it still listens to your voice. So when you do it. You have to keep it to your ear so that's kind of smart when you take it away it stops so if you want to ask something that you don't want people to hear or if you're in a place where it's very quiet then you i don't know what, but whatever the reason is you don't want people to hear the answer of whatever you're asking bring it up to your ear whisper it and it'll answer it to you right in there all right so let's go let's move on to the rest all right guys so here we go so we're gonna go over the moto app so it'll be in your app drawer and click it right here. So Motorola doesn't get in your way. You know, it's a very stock Android experience and you're not gonna get a lot of pop-ups up, pop or anything like that. So you actually, it doesn't even tell you to open app. So it's just, as you use the phone, you'll get kind of like notifications telling you what you can do. It never actually gets in your way and I love that. Like using the G4, I have tons and tons of things that just pop up and I don't wanna use those things and I don't wanna be bothered with them, but I'm continuously bothered like bombarded with all this nonsense so it's nice to have an experience it's stock android and the uh, stuff that they do add it doesn't get in your way so from here you can hit right here to just do a command you can also see like the types of things you can do with um so my phrase is 1738 so it tells you right there sorry i didn't mean that but anyways so anyways if you go to more it tells you what you can do so with your phrase you can post to facebook take a selfie send a message you know so there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, one of my favorite ones is you can say, find, um, find my phone, and your phone will actually start ringing, and then you can find your phone. So from the Moto app here, you'll go to the stars over here. So yeah, Moto Assist, Moto Actions, Moto Voice, and Moto Display. Moto Assist is something that they've, at, they've had it since the beginning, they've, but they've tweaked it a little bit. Now you can add different places. Um, it's So you have... Right now, all I have set is for sleeping. So when it's like 11 o'clock, it knows that it's ready for bed, even though I'm really not sleeping at that time, but it silences my phone. So you can add activity 
or places. Activities are like meetings. So if you know you're going to be in a meeting, you can um, put the time for the meeting and it'll silence your phone for you. And also it can auto reply to people. So you can see auto reply and you can do keep quiet. And there's even more options. So you can select different calendars. So there's a bunch of like functionality to it. It's baked right in. Like I said, if you don't, if you want to use it, you can. If don't, if not, then you can leave it alone. Um, also, you can add places. So you can have your home should already be set up from Google, but I believe you can have to set it up here again. Yeah. So, but we're not gonna do that. So you can set up your home, your work, or custom. So if the place that is a different place, you can add it there. So with the, what this means is if you um, are home and you get a message, it'll talk to you and then you can reply to it. Just as like an assist, assist can help you out when you're driving. If you're driving, it'll read out your message to you and then um, you can reply with your voice. So I have it set up so that it knows that I'm at home now. And I'm gonna send myself a message and let's see how that works out. Um, it should read it out to you. Now this is gonna be a little bit confusing. If you have a lock, it won't read it out to you. So definitely wanna make it, it'll only work if the lock is off. Oh, if you have... Good evening, new text from bro. To hear it, say listen. Listen. Bro said, how's that Moto X treating you? To reply to bro, say send message. Send message. Say your message. I love it, man. I think you said, I love it, man. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, sending text now. So there you go, That's that worked out pretty well. So that's how it works if you're, I set up my home as a trusted place. So I do have a pen, but because I'm home, my um, it's unlocked. So I can go over that in a different video, but that's how I got through my pen. So it tells you right there, so home, so Moto is working for you. So you can set up at home, at work, or you can add custom places. Works very, well, works very well, you don't have to touch your phone, you can leave your phone down, do whatever you gotta do. If you gotta cook, if you gotta wash dishes, and Motorola will talk to you. So that's a very useful feature right there. That was essentially Moto Assist, so now we're gonna go about Moto Actions. Moto Actions is another really good one. Of course, I already showed you Lift for Moto Voice, which is very, very awesome. Nice addition. Then we have Twist to Capture, which is one of my favorites, so you just do that, and bam, your camera launches, and you're ready to just snap pictures. And of course, one more time, we'll go to the front camera, which I've said before, so definitely. Definitely a nice feature to have, definitely a fun way to get to your camera. You know, there's no home buttons on here or anything like that, there's no fit, um, there's no camera button, so that's a very good way to make up for that. So good job on Motorola on that. And I love this other one is, the chop for the flashlight of course and this also works pretty well good for when you're in the dark why should you have to turn on your phone to get to your camera or to get to your flashlight you know so those are nice little features and nice little gestures that are added there and of course you have approach from motor display this is good uh, right here so when your phone is off you can just if you're walking around and you want to see if you have any notifications you just wave over it and then it'll wake up and then you can just tap the display to see if you have anything. Right now, I don't have anything. One thing I am, I don't understand though, they did get rid of, um, you, usually, you used to be able to wave over the phone to stop your alarms, but that is gone, so that's no longer there. That was a good addition there, so I'm not sure why they took it off, but it is no longer there. Next up, we have Moto Voice. Of course, I've showed you guys that a couple of times. Mine's 1738. Um, again, works very well. And so you have motor voice, you can you can change your launch rate, like I said, you can whistle, you could do you could be definite you could do a lot of different things with it. Then if you have a pen, you can speak the pen to unlock. And I can show you how I got how that works. And you can also choose whether or not you can do com commands while locked. Alright, so it did not turn back off. So as you can see here, motor voice, and I go to uh, commands while locked, it's still on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. So now it won't let me do anything. So if you don't care. You can leave that on and you can do your commands. Um, besides, this should only listen to your voice anyway. But um, like my brother, his voice is similar to mine, so he can actually get on mine. So if I do have a passcode on my phone and I, and I don't want him to access my information, then I could definitely keep that off. 1738. How far is it to Jupiter? Say your type, pin code. 6969. Three 
365 million miles, according to Space.com, because both planets travel an elliptical path around the Sun, Jupiter's distance from Earth is constantly changing. Alright, so there you go, that worked right there. Uh, I'm going to go back and just really real quick turn that back on so I can do commands while I have a pen. I'm just going to show you some of my, some of my favorite commands. So, um, my favorite one, like I said, if you happen to miss to lose your phone, then you can just, if you're loud enough, you can just call it. So, 1738, find my phone. There you go, so that one right there would find your phone. And I'm going to show you another one. So let's say your hands are busy and um, you've missed a couple of notifications. You heard your phone vibrate, but you weren't there. And then now your hands are still dirty and you don't want to touch your phone. So all you have to do is, 1738, what's up? Hi there, the time is 8.10 p.m. Bro sent you a Google Hangout message at 8, 10 p.m. saying, no doubt I've heard good things. So there you go. That is how you do that. And so that's essentially saying what's up will read out your notifications to you. All right, so next up, that's pretty much it for Motor Voice. Awesome. I love using it. Um, it works very well. And bonus, you know, tip, if you want to check out my Moto Hint review, that's also on the page. With the Moto Hint, that's the Bluetooth, small Bluetooth, the Moto Voice actually works with that one as well. The battery life on it, the standby time of that headset goes down when Moto Voice is turned on, but it's pretty cool. So if you have the headset on, you can talk to your phone without talking to it. So if your phone's in your pocket and it can't hear you, you can still use your Moto Hint. And if you happen to lose your phone, just put on your Moto Hint. And guess what? Just say your phrase or just wait till you hear that it's connected. Say your phrase and just say find my phone and boom, there you go. You find your phone. So a lot of useful things that you can do with Moto Actions and Moto Voice. So and then Moto Display, of course, I've already showed you. Another cool thing that they've added to Moto Display is the fact that now you can actually do music control. So I'm not sure what are all the medias that can do it. So far, I know Google Play Music can do it and I know that SoundCloud can do it. So if you are playing a song... Oh man, oh man, oh man, not again, yeah, I learned a game from William Wesley, you can never check me, back to back for the knee, get the message, back, and just like that, you can pause, you can play, back to back like I'm on the cover of Lethal Weapon, back to back like I'm Jordan 96, 97, whoa, very important and very pretentious, when I look back I might be mad that I gave this attention, so there you go, so there you go, those are the Moto Actions that were added by Motorola. So this is a very nice phone. I know I've had a couple of people ask me to go over them. And um, if you have any more questions, like I said, you feel free to hit me up in the comments below. Um, my website's also up, uh, berealbyjj.com. You know, I have um, two parts to it. I have a fitness part. I love fitness. I love health. I'm also a vegan, so um, there's that. And then I have my tech part where I do my reviews on the Motorola products and also on tech. I have a couple more ideas coming up as well that I'll do. So definitely check me out on the website and show me some support. Um, I, I appreciate all the love so far. And um, like I said, when I get my other my custom Moto X, I did um, a black back. I did a red accent. I did the gold and white front. So it's a little bit different. I don't think too many people went with that combination. And I'll let you guys know how that goes. Alright, I'll see you guys on the next one. And just remember, be real.